Check out this. Step 1. Step 2. Step 3. Done. Plus something like this. Step 1. Step 2. Step 3. Done. What about something more? Let's add a brand new group. How can we include the new group in our summation without doing anything? Here it is. We get all the totals including the newly added group without changing anything. Welcome to Excel No Work Overtime. What we showed you just now was done by Power Query which is a much more powerful tool comparing to some if formula. Before we start, let us give you some quick context. The table we showed you in this tutorial is from one of our design dashboard. There it is. This dashboard was designed to monitor and manage capital expenditures. The dashboard is organized into five sections, each serving a specific analytical purpose. And section 1 and 2 are both reporting on total capital expenditures either on an organizational level or segmented level. Behind the scenes, we use Power Query to structure the data and using Power Query instead of using Excel formula. Moving on, let me show you where some if formula fails. When you need to add more data in the original source, you need to manually extend the reference range in the formula one by one. You can update the column reference from a specific range to the whole column. But this will cause future headaches, for example, your file will get super big, taking longer calculations time and hard to review. Plus, what if someone added new category like a new status group but did not tell you? How would you know when to update your formula? Here our data is from a table showing FY24 budget, committed amounts and actual paid amount for a list of projects across multiple teams and regions. If we want to calculate the total balances of all projects by the last column status group, we would use some if. And this is how we would usually do. But stop. We could have something like this. Moving on, let me show you how Power Query can future-proof all the issues. To start with, let's make the data range as a table and select a proper name. Here we just use its default name. Then open Power Query through Get Data button in the data menu above. We are going to create a blank query here. This window is Power Query Editor where you can directly code all the queries and steps. But here we keep it simple. Just do one line. This will tell Power Query to source all the information in your current workbook. So you can see in this workbook we only have one table which is Table 1. Click on the first cell and you can view the content of Table 1 below. Click on the table in square bracket to open this table in the query. From here we are going to calculate totals of status groups by using group by function. As you can see, we can do multiple summation in one go. Great, total calculations are ready and we can close and load the query. Here we can see all the total calculations are loaded into a table format. Okay, now let me show you again how easily it is to use Power Query to update data. <laughs> 